Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Caitlin. This is the channel where I talk all things toys and dolls. Today we're doing my top 15 Ever After High doll lines. Um, I would like to apologize ahead of time for some of the picture quality in this video. I could not find any better resolution for some of the doll lines, which sucks, but I wasn't going to change my opinion based on that. So let's go ahead and dive into it. off in 15th place I have archery club this line is cute but it's obviously not my favorite I think Rosabella and Raven look really good as well as Ashlyn but he's okay I just really like their dresses in this and I love the idea of archery club but they do have molded pants which you guys know I hate so this is a very okay line for me which is why they're 15th in 14th place I have getting Ferris. I think these dolls were all very beautifully done I really like the way their faces look their hair is pretty I love the concept um, it's just a lower for me because I'm not gonna give a pajama line a higher spot but overall they're very nicely done and I really enjoy the line next up we have Ferris on ice again I think these dolls are all very beautiful especially Ashlyn I think she's definitely my favorite I love the dresses I love the shoes very, very well done line. I think it would have been higher for me if they expanded more instead of just having the three characters, but overall, I really enjoy this line. In 12th place, I have Back to School. This is where the picture quality starts to get a little iffy. This line is really, really done. I especially love Misha and Mermaid. I didn't even know this line existed when they came out, so I'm kind of bummed that I missed out, but I think they're really cute. I think they're a later release, but I do really think they're adorable. 11th place is Through the Woods. Again, another strong doll line. I really like Ashlyn and Cupid here. Blondie, I could take her leave, and Poppy's pretty good too. I really like their lanterns, and again, they're just very well done. Ever After I always has amazing shoes and outfits. I do wish that they would have expanded this line even further, maybe added some more characters, and that would have been higher for me. In 10th place, I have Book Club, or Book Party. Another very small line, this one only has three, but I enjoy all of the characters a lot. And the outfits are really simple, but I think they just are really well made, and they look really good. And this line is just adorable, especially Lizzie. You guys know my love for Lizzie. Ninth place is Epic Winter. This was a very large doll line, all of which were done really well. I think Briar Beauty is probably my favorite one in this line. I just think they're all really cute. I love the shoes. Again, Ever After High does not do bad shoes. Um, Daring Charming is definitely the worst in the line. I also think Apple's really adorable. I just loved everything about this line. It was really, really well done. Next up in eighth place, we have Birthday Ball. Um, credit to Gray Skull Warrior for this picture. I don't know who they are, but this is the best picture of this line I could find, so I used it. They are stunningly beautiful. I love pastel. I think they're all really, really strong. Cedar is definitely my favorite, but I just really like the concept of this line. I like the way they all turned out. Again, the shoes, I'm not gonna stop talking about the shoes, but they're all so, so, so good in this line. Next up in seventh place, we have Sugar Coated. Again, just stunning dolls. I really think Holly's beautiful, Cedar's beautiful, Ginger, Maddie, they're all just so good. The line concept is really cute to me too. I like the sweets aspect of it, and I think they're really cute. Again, I would have liked to see more dolls in this line. I, Ever After I did a lot of really small lines, but anyway, they are very, very pretty, and I do enjoy them all. Sixth place is Hattastic Tea Party. Beautiful, beautiful dolls. I love Apple. I think she's my standout for this line, with Cerise being a close second, but I do enjoy all of them. I love the hats. You guys know I love Maddie. Well, if you don't, now you do. More shoes that are just amazing and overall very, very beautiful dolls. I don't think there's one in this line that I don't like. Starting out my top five, we have Way to Wonderland. This one is just an amazing line. Like, they are over-the-top ridiculous outfits that I love so much. I love Lizzie's hat with the flamingo. I think that's such a fun touch. Maddie looks amazing. Kitty is just like outward outwardly worldly what are words outworldly weird <laughs> and I think she looks great I love Apple's dress and her crown and bow is really cute 
I do apologize for the picture quality. I really thought I would have found a better picture for this line, but I could not, so I am sorry. Fourth place is Dragon Games. I love, love, love Dragon Games. Apple and her dragon are amazing. Darling Charming is one of my favorite dolls. Holly looks really good. Raven is amazing. This is one of my favorite Raven dolls. And I absolutely love Mirror Shards as well. I think she is also an amazing doll. Dragon Games overall was just really, really well done. I feel like there's a Poppy doll too, though, isn't there? She's not in this picture, but I'm pretty sure there is one. <laughs> but overall, I really love this line. My top four, honestly, were so hard to choose from. And I'm kind of wishing I would have put this one higher, but I really just love Dragon Games. Starting out the top three is Spring Unsprung, another one of my absolute favorites. Cedar Wood here is my favorite cedar. I think she looks amazing. Her shoes are amazing. I love Holly in this line. I love Briar, Kitty. I, honestly, I just love them all. Kitty is one of my favorite kitties too. And then I love, love, love Lizzie. Her shoes are some of my favorite shoes in any doll line ever. I think this one was really well done. My second place goes to Legacy Day. These dolls were amazingly beautiful, really just put together super nicely. They look very high-end, but were also affordable. Maddie is great. This is my favorite Maddie. Probably my favorite Ashlyn as well. I really like Briar. I love Apple. Cerise is amazing. Raven's amazing. Again, I don't have a bad thing to say about this line. I think they were all really well made and just look stunningly beautiful. And finally, my first place has to be Throne Coming. This is another small line, but an amazing one. This is by far my favorite Cupid doll they've ever made with Ever After High or Monster High. One of my favorite apples. Raven looks amazing. I even like Blondie, and I do not like Blondie. <laughs> like, she looks good here, but she's one of my least favorite dolls. But Cupid, I cannot get over how strong this Cupid doll is. She's just perfection. This doll line is super well made. They look amazing. They're beautiful. They look like very high-end dolls and they were still very affordable. So that is my top 15 Ever After High doll lines. Let me know yours down below or at least some of your favorites. Don't forget to like this video before you go and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!